Video games, what were once a basement-centric pastime for avoiding my older brother, have become a hundred billion dollar a year industry for avoiding my older brother. But while gaming has evolved from its humble origins, one thing hasn't. Our understanding of what happens after we die. A video game is like an imperfect replica of real life. And like real life, the unexplained has a way of changing what we thought we knew. With fantasies of power, wealth, heightened experiences of joy, and even fear, the same things that attract the living to video games also attract the formerly living, the dead. We launched Deadstream in 1994 after a disturbing experience that I had had playing Duke Nukem 2. So our, our team used to have to track down these events from stories online, but after a while, people started contacting us, asking for help. So now it pretty much always starts with a voicemail. This player asked me a group of, we gotta say, need this, this rat fur, this quest item. Uh, at first, I thought it was a prank. They couldn't share the quest with me. They wouldn't stop messaging me. And I couldn't report them or block them because their name was totally blank. They didn't have a name. The details our witness provided were consistent with other hauntings or spirit activity that we've encountered. Honestly, our success rate is so high that I'm always surprised to learn there are ghosts left in the world. We record all the video and audio from the game and run it through EVP filters, spectrographic analysis, cyclic redundancy check. We check frames per second, graphics card temperature, and fan activity to see if there's any sudden spikes. Plus we have cameras all over the room in case there's any paranormal activity occurring outside of the game, which is rare, but it has happened. I had a can of Surge upend itself into my lap one time, and that was 2007, way after they stopped making it. The witness who contacted us gave us a starting point, but was too scared to provide any other details. I'm still scared, so... We can use his inventory to figure out where he was at the time of the encounter. Oldest trick in the book. Yeah, the ghost book. Five by five. Confirmed. Light him up. The inventory led us somewhere near the Twilight Highlands in World of Warcraft's Chasmodan. Should be the place, but it's all clear. I got no activity on thermal imaging. The mouse heat map's cold as a grave. Fuck. Looks like a dead end. Let's fly the same route back, see if we missed anything. Pulling aside the fabric of reality and venturing beyond that dark cleft isn't as glamorous as it sounds. Paranormal entities don't experience time the same way that we do. I died when I was a kid, so technically I don't experience normal time either. Legally, I'm still dead. It's on my driver's license. But as we were about to call it a night... The flight map changed. Was that you? Negative. I haven't touched the keyboard. What in hours? We're completely off the map. Through the looking glass. Let's see where this rabbit hole goes. We're completely off the map. Someone, or something, had brought us to an unknown location in the game. This is a lot like the area our witness described. There, the tree line, where no name player first made contact. That's the tree line, where the no name player first made contact. We had found the tree line, where the no name player first made contact with our witness. We had no choice but to watch, and to wait. Sign still negative. Nothing here. Come on. FPS spike, but the graphics card's ice cold. Looking for group. Why here? We need to get out of here. Wait. I think I understand. Cross-index the QA tester employee logs from 2003 with death certificates from the same time period in the same city. I need a name, Casey, now. Got it. Try Jason. Jason. 
His name was Jason. We're here to help you. There are no more Abyssal Rat Dander drops. You died before you completed an early quest that never made it to the finished game. It's time to go, Jason. You can be at peace now. Let it go, Jason. Find your way home. Jason, delete your account. It's over. Jason, go! Incredible. That's one for the books. I can't, I can't believe it. Dead stream, that's what I'm talking about. Stories like Jason's don't always have a happy ending, but this is why we do what we do. And if we could say anything to all the restless, misunderstood spirits still out there, it'd be that we mean you no harm, and we're here to help. I have a gift, and I'm gonna use it to tell dead people to get out of our video games. Next time on Paranormal Playthrough. I don't know if I can do this anymore. Kind of gotten over a lot of my emotions. Anger was the first to go.